back, it's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today we're here with a fun two-page layout using the collection Gold Scenic Route by Paige Evans. So I picked this really fun background color and then kind of a more solid blue. I am actually scrap lifting one of my old layouts and I feel like it's a really good kind of layout when you have sequential photos. Um, the first one I did was of my son jumping in a puddle and I had just quickly, you know, snapped pictures and so it was kind of like the sequence of him jumping. Um, this here, as you're going to see, is a sequence of photos of my cousin and my aunt falling into the ocean. Um, what I'm cutting here is just a kind of a, uh, just some smaller pictures my aunt put together. She had made one for her album and then had that one left over. And so I snatched that up and I'm going to incorporate that. I am trimming down three of the pictures for the right hand page. Just because I'm going to have them go the length of the page across. Or the width of the page across. Um, I am going to round the corners out with this uh, punch here. Just to give it different kind of look I guess and the picture on the left hand page is going to be the full four by six I don't know how much I trimmed off the pictures on the right um not very much just enough that you could see in between the pictures when I placed them on that coral paper there so it's pretty simple actually the layout is um I do just place these kind of across the page on this coral and then I'm going to trim it and that's really the layout on the right hand side. I do obviously embellish and whatnot but for the pictures and how they're displayed that is kind of the gist of it. On the left hand page I am going to use the coral again to back this picture and make it go across the page. I am going to turn it into a flag however um so you can see that I trimmed it so it's the same width of paper and I think this is a little different than the layout that I am scrap lifting of myself I don't think I had this in a flag on the other one but it just gave it a different kind of feel for this page um the one I'm scrap lifting had an extra photo uh so that kind of took up that space that blank space on the left hand side. I do back the like strip of photos with that floral paper. I think it's just a scrap piece that I had from a previous layout. Uh, you can't really see much of it behind it but I did want it to kind of pop out just a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to place that there and then I wanted to journal on this so while I am cutting this out I'll kind of give you the back story because it is a good one. So we were on vacation and one of the signs leading up to the ocean was to shuffle your feet so you didn't step on any of the stingrays. So my aunt my cousin were in the ocean kind of dancing, shuffling their feet and whatnot. As you can see at first they were separate, then they combined and as they were dancing they fell into the water. Uh, my aunt's phone was in her bag and Obviously that kind of went kaput. So that's kind of the backstory. I definitely wanted to get this documented. It actually was a video. So the pictures aren't the greatest um, because I just took snapshots, screenshots, sorry, of the video and tried to get kind of the sequence of them dancing and falling. So that's why the pictures are kind of so-so, but just definitely a good way if you have a video that you want to document just take the screenshots and I mean it it's it works good enough I think um and so we named the little dance that they did the stingray shuffle so I knew immediately that that was going to be my title so I use these amazing alphas from the collection I will link the collection down below um so you can snatch some of the goodies up if you like what you see I, once I got the, oh wow, title, sorry, 
<laughs> I wanted to add something to the bottom right and I have these phrase stickers here from the collection um and there was always and there was an adventure uh and so I took an A and an N from Imagine to make an and kind of make a subtitle always an adventure because honestly when we all get together my aunts cousins and I it is always an adventure it is always a fun adventure and so I just wanted I thought it was appropriate and I really liked these um, phrase stickers and hadn't really used them yet so why have them if you're gonna use them or if you're not gonna use them sorry so I wanted to use those up and I didn't think I would really use Imagine, so that's why I kind of snuck some letters out of that one. And then I added just a heart and some other little enamel um, circles to the cluster down at the bottom. So these are flowers that I all, I fussy cut them all out. Um, I was unable to get the floral ephemera from the collection, and so there's quite a few different papers floral papers in the collection that you can fussy cut and it's kind of funny I fussy cut these while waiting for my kids to, while waiting to pick up my kids from school so just a little time that I had been wasting that I figured you know what why not just get something accomplished and so I have been fussy cutting while waiting for my kids so the top right needed something I found that really pretty floral piece uh, that I thought I would use but it needed something behind it because it kind of was faded into the back background. So I took some of my scraps. There's the floral piece that I backed the strip of pictures in. And I am going to make some flags here. And one thing that I've been doing lately that I kind of like is I keep the flags extra long. Um, it gives me more of a chance to kind of play with them, see exactly where I want them. And then I will trim them off once they are kind of taped down. So I just, it's been working for me lately. You know, it might not work for everybody, but I have been enjoying that. And then just obviously trim the excess. And it helps so I don't waste paper. So I don't cut something too short that I wanted longer and whatnot. So it just helps. I did not like that big floral piece in the top right over top of the um, flags at the top. So I did go back to my stickers. I found that cute little camera and some other little pieces. I think maybe a heart um, or some phrases there. So laughter because obviously this, oh my goodness, we laughed so hard after all this happened. Um, and then the puffy stickers, there's some puffy hearts, some puffy um, circles. So I added those to the top to make a cluster. I didn't really like the one phrase sticker at the top. Um, I do end up adding more. I think I add a total of three or have a total of three. I changed out the T because the T was too close to the blue background. And it was kind of um, kind of lost in the background. So I have the chipboard stickers here as well. Didn't really think I used any of those. And here is where I add the more phrases. So I do add three total. Um, I just feel like it's more pleasing on the eye. The one just kind of looked out of place. And then after I do that, I might add, yeah, a little, some more circles maybe, or I don't know, just kind of hit and miss or try to you know find what looks good I don't know if I ended up doing anything at the top there I added one little circle at the top so it's kind of just trial and error see what looks good um at least at the time <laughs> I sometimes I go back and think I don't know why I placed that there but so the top left needed a little bit as did I thought the bottom right so I did find this flower that I had cut out and just place the one flower down at the bottom and then I am going to make a cluster of flowers up at the top um and the nice thing about fussy cutting your own uh some of the flowers on the paper cut off the edge of the paper so there's a flat edge it just makes it easy to 
use, you know, in a corner or on an edge, like it's easy to kind of hide that straight edge. Um, so I honestly utilized pretty much every piece of the paper possible and cut out any flower that I could. Um, I did want something else up at the top and so I did find this little orange flower out of the six by eight pad that I fussy cut and add to the top. And then I think just to finish it off, I cut that leaf off at the top that's hanging over the edge, tuck that in under one of the flowers. And I think that finishes out the layout. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you could subscribe or like and comment my videos, that always helps me out as well. And we will see you next time. Thanks guys.